commercial lawyer with 10 years of experience. I do energy work, uh, but also I've uh, worked on political campaigns at the federal and municipal levels, mostly behind the scenes, uh, being a campaign manager in the 2015 federal election, as well as the most re recent uh, municipal election in 2017. And I think right now the Alberta Party is in a place where we really need to build the party, we need to build the membership, we need to go out and recruit nomination contestants so we have a really strong slate of community leaders that are going to be on the ballot for the Alberta Party in 2019. And I'm committed to doing that and I have the experience that I know how to go out and, and get that job done. The Alberta Party's put out shadow budgets the last three budgets uh, and, and that involves a mix of finding efficiencies in delivering government services as well as uh, making strategic uh, potential increases in, in taxes. Uh, personally, I think it's time to stop uh, just leaving this problem aside and I would like to have that discussion around whether it's time for a value-added point of sale tax in Alberta. Well, first of all, I still hold my seat in the legislature. I think that's one of the most important things, to be able to step into the legislature and, and govern right away as the leader of the Alberta Party and start growing a coalition of people around the province that want to see better governance, better policies, a respectful manner of how we conduct ourselves in the legislature. Uh, if we're inspiring small business owners to expand their business and finding ways to provide incentives uh, you know, that reduce their tax burden after they've committed uh, over time uh, growing that business. Uh, so it's a smart investment for Albertans. Uh, those create sustainability in our communities. They bring families here, uh, they create jobs, and uh, they bring people together. But if it's divisive and it's only one-sided and it's cut, 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 or it's spend, 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 uh, without any restraint, uh, again, it's topsy-turvy. It's not about me specifically. I believe I have a, a, a talent to bring people together and hear people. And I think that's what sets me apart. It's a party that looks to solve problems practically, uh, build consensus, and find a balance between what's physically responsible for the province and what's socially good. So for example, we need to run an efficient government, but we need a very good education. We need to have uh, a, an effective and efficient healthcare system, but needs to be run in a way that, uh, that does not waste our, our hard-earned tax dollars. Balancing the budget is not an overnight given the huge deficit we have. I think it's a two-step process. First, you have to balance the day-to-day -day operations um, and begin then to put into place a solution for the long, all the capital indebtedness we have. And then, uh, as part of that, the two of them look at what you can do in spending of capital to deliver the biggest bang for the buck um, so that Albertans get the things done they need to get done and not worry about uh, getting some of the things that we have um, managed to do that weren't really necessary. The government plays a role in facilitating and creating the kind of opportunities for Albertans to invest in, to feel comfortable in. I think that's a big part of it. We need to bring investment back here. We have to have a strong entrepreneurial spirit and really look to uh, get new investment in the province.